Brazil is on the rise to, to power. It's a combination of political and economic transformations. Both of them are very linked. The political transformation began at first and the economic transformation came along. I think the political transformation is the one that led to the economic transformation. And this is a process that I would say it's been taking the last 20 years. I think there is a price to be paid for rapid economic growth, especially when you think it came easily, and uh, because it never does. And if you spend the results of economic rise very rapidly, you also don't save for the future. What I want to say is that when you have a very fast rise, you don't pay attention to one of the most important things, which is education. Myth versus reality. I think one of the myths about Brazil is that we have been in a very solid path. And uh, I don't think we are yet in a very solid path. Uh, a lot of things have to be done in Brazil, a lot of reforms, otherwise we are not going to be keeping on that track. And sometimes Brazil is uh, uh, thought about as a country that has flourished, has thrived, and it, it's, it found its own way. And I think we have a lot of work in that sense yet. I think the Olympic Games will play a pretty significant role to Brazil's rise to power, not only because it's a, it's a window to the world, but as an investment in infrastructure, which means a lot in Brazil because our infrastructure is still very precarious, and in a way that Brazilians are going to see themselves in the world. And I think that's important for a country that's been pretty closed in itself.